got new microphones. Hooray. Hold on, hold on. Yay. Yay. We got the new things. We upgraded. Sort of, yeah. We went from uh, hopefully dynamic vocal mics to uh, slightly higher quality condenser mics. And, I mean, I can definitely tell you that price-wise, they're much improved. <laughs> if you believe that, uh, you know, the more you pay, the more you get. Because, um, we'll see. I think I paid 40 bucks for the set of three we had before. And this time around, I paid 160 bucks for all three microphones. I paid more for an individual microphone than I paid for all three before. So these better be fucking better. Right. You, you, you feel me? Like, dude, no, they better be... They better be amazing. <laughs> but uh, like I said, we don't have any shock absorbers, so that may end up being a problem. I don't know. It depends on how much you feel like punching the walls and shit. You know. um, I, I don't really feel like punching the wall at all. I'm that's feeling good. good today. That's good. I'm feeling loosey-goosey. Loosey-goosey. <laughs> so how y'all doing today? Yeah. We're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And uh, we're just kind of sitting here having a good old time. Yeah. Not, not uh, doing too much. We got some news topics we want to cover today. Um, just some things that have come out that are interest to us, mm-hmm. uh, like Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption Two has finally got a solid release date. Yes. Although, I mean, wasn't it just delayed too? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's how we got to the release date. That's how we knew it was delayed to begin with. Uh, mm-hmm. So, of course, it was slated to come out in um, late 2017 fall, I believe, mm-hmm. and Rockstar ended up delaying it to. Um, it's a spring of this year, and they finally del- they delayed it again so they could give it, you know, a little extra polish. So we can't expect to see it now until October 26th, which is its official release date now. Of 2018. Yeah. So, folks, we'll probably see it maybe by 2019. We'll see it like May 19th, 2019. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like and because- Anybody who's a Rockstar Games fan knows. Yeah, they like, like to delay their stuff until it's perfect. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? Honestly, I I'm okay with that considering yeah. how much of a disaster the PC port for uh, GTA 4 was, and like, how great the PC port for GTA 5 was. Yeah, and they delayed the shit out of that. I mean, I would do take a five or six year development cycle if it means you're getting the game right. That's something I've always preached. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I, I yeah I want the game, but if you're gonna sit there and, and take an extra year to fix things and get it get it functional and stuff, please do. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have a fully functional game than what I got out of, like, Far Cry 3 or, oh, my God, the uh, Batman, what was it, Arkham Knight? Or Jesus Christ. basically any, uh, any like, Assassin's Creed game from the past few years. Yeah. Or past, like, six... Any Ubisoft game, really. Yeah, yeah, mostly. Um, you kind of got... That, that's so terrible. Every fucking one of them. Every, like, Ubisoft just fucks everything up. And it's like, I, I realize game development is expensive, it's time-consuming, there's a lot of moving parts, but surely you can get something right. This yeah. isn't even on our topic list. Maybe we mentioned it last week and I'm forgetting. Did we talk about the fact that they added fucking loot crates to uh, a game that's been out for over a year? No, Rainbow Siege, right? No, 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 Rainbow Six. Rainbow uh, or, Six. I mean, um, Tom Clancy's um, Wildlands. No, uh, that was already that was already in there. No, they didn't have loot. They did not have loot crates in Wildlands. I well, there was a rainbow. That there was a, a Rainbow Six game that they re-released and upped the price for and added loot crates to. They, I don't know if they added loot crates to Rainbow Six Siege. I, but I, but I do know. Yeah, you're right. They re-uploaded it. They added. Uh, they increased the price, and on top of they sell that game like in seasons. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I I I skipped that one. And I'm glad I did with the bullshittery that they're doing. But they got a lot of backlash around that price hike. Yeah. So apparently they might be pulling it down soon. Uh, I mean, I did I did hear that they are supposed to drop the price back yeah. to like forty bucks or something like that. Like, because mm-hmm. it's it's just, I mean, you're not. What did you do to it that makes it worth paying sixty dollars for again? You did nothing. Yeah, it it you was pretty ridiculous. Nothing. I think it was just. It had been updated, and there were some new maps and stuff they added, but they were still... It wasn't like it came with a season pass or right. anything like that. It didn't come with the DLC. It was just the base game that they upped the price for. It was kind of a real And the changed shitty, maps, because yeah, some of the maps yeah. go away, apparently. Oh, no, that's not okay. It's crazy. It's crazy, but Like, they, you don't take content away and charge more. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is the scummiest shit you could do. It, man, Ubisoft, man. What? They just do some crazy stuff. 
Like it's, it's the game's got a huge following. Right. So whatever they were doing with like the map rotation or the seasons and stuff, I guess that's working. Right. Uh, right. And the game, from what I've heard, is pretty fun. Uh, but other than that, man, it's just why why make it so goddamn complicated? Although I will say, uh, a game we've talked about positively, Payday Two, they've gone back and forth on their game as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they added loot crates. People got pissed about them. They took them out. And companies like fucking Ubisoft are adding them. Or, you know, one of our news topics, EA. Uh, yeah, speak, yeah, adding them of, back. Yeah, re enabling them on Star Wars. Which we knew they were going to do. They, yeah, told, yeah, yeah. they, they never told said they were going to stay away forever. Yeah, they straight told us, oh, yeah, we'll just temporarily disable them. And now it's like, oh, yeah, well, we need to make money back. And the funny. You we know, only. Only sold seven million copies. Like it's such a slap to the face with the dick that they're doing it again. Mm-hmm. Like here's the thing though, their stock prices are at an all time fucking high. <laughs> like fucking assholes. Yeah, like you screwed up Star Wars. You fucked Star Wars up. People got super pissed at you for like like who would have thought that Star Wars fans would have got fucked would have got angry because you messed up a Star Wars game. It's like Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. No, I, I mean, they. who would know, who, who could possibly know that Star Wars fans would get angry over Star Wars being messed up? I mean, it's not like every time a movie comes out that we get fucking up in arms. Yeah, seriously, like, I, I don't care. I hate The Last Jedi. That's what I'm saying. Like, know, like, we Star Wars fans get mad at the drop of a hat. Yeah. And then you fucked up in a way that everyone could unite against your fuckery. Yeah, like, not even Star Wars fans. It's people who play video games casually or people... Like, even they were like, this is fucked up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so... And, like, the guy... How can you hate pink Darth Vader, man? You give know, me a pink Darth Vader. Give me a pink... Yeah, give me a pink Darth Vader. I don't care. Give me, give me pink Darth Vader. Seriously. I mean, it... Let me customize my so characters. so stupid. When they oh, found... We want, we want to do... We want to follow canon. Oh, yeah, we want to follow be... canon, you assets. And then they yeah. found well, well, in the me. files uh, alternate costumes and so, shit. So tell me where does... Uh, where do loot crates fit in the canon? Exactly. You know, like, where does the pay-to-win scheme... Well, okay, pay-to-win is just real life. But where does the pay-to-win <laughs> scheme fit in the canon? Where does, like, the fucking... fucking asshats. The, the, the stormtroopers doing the robot as a fucking taunt... Yeah, like like fit into canon. Where where is it that in any point during Star Wars? Who the fuck made the Star Wars dancing game? Like how is it, you do no one respects canon after that. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, I don't respect canon period anymore. It's so how low. terrible. I'm so low. How it's fucking so oh low. god. <laughs> oh god, it's just bad. I yeah, I know it, it's it's terrible. Um but, uh, you know what, you mentioned something before we came here, since we're on the topic of loot crates. Yeah. Um, there's no, uh, they've changed the way they do loot crates in PUBG. Yeah, yeah. The, well, they, they kind of, they added. They added a they new added loot crate. They added new crates. So, um, the, originally, uh, it's been, you play the game, you earn credits every match you right, earn. Right, yeah. And you earn credits at a paltry <laughs> rate. Like, unless you um, win... Yeah, and it's not too fast. Like if you die without doing anything, and you're in like the like bottom fifty, you'll get, you'll like, get twenty points. You'll yeah, get you'll, twenty credits. You get nothing unless you unless you're in the top top games. Even well, even when in the top games, you're maybe getting a hundred to hundred fifty. Like oh I, no no no, if you if you're in like the top ten, yeah, I think uh, if you're in the top ten, if you've got any kills, I think you earn. Uh, oh, well over a hundred and two hundred fifty or something like that. I, you can earn you can earn a decent amount. Right. Um. It all depends on how your match goes. The thing is, um, you every week it starts over where your first crate costs seven hundred. Your second crate, I think, costs. <coughs> I might be wrong here. Pardon me. Uh, twelve or thirteen hundred. And then it increases um, after each crate. But your credits don't go away. You keep your credits. Right, yeah. So let's say I finished, like like this week I did. I finished last week, and I didn't have enough to buy the 2,000, like a 2,100 or 2,500, I don't know, crate. But I still had, um, like, 1,500 points. So when the new week started, I immediately bought a 700 crate, and then the next one up after, like, a match. So the thing that's shitty that they've done 
is they've added in, and I don't know when it drops, if it's random or if it's every so many crates. They've or added maybe in, even so many games you play. Uh, I doubt that, but, I mean, I guess it could be. Like, oh, you played 30 games, your next crate is going to be this. Yeah. Um, But they've added a new crate called the Desperado Crate. The Desperado Crate. That they they did this once before, where they had a uh, a crate for a tournament or something like that that happened early on in the game's development. Yeah. And um, it was a special crate that, to open it, you had to buy a key. Ugh. So, paid... Uh, essentially paid microtransaction, get the key, and you can open the crate and get the item. Again, still a random fucking thing. Right, yeah. Which, okay, fine, you got to make some money. It, you can buy the credits to buy the crates. Um, you can still always go to the marketplace and buy these items directly from another person on Steam, and generally they go for like 13 cents, except some of the exclusive stuff, Yeah, like especially that was out of might, that Yeah, they might, I might go for a few oh, bucks. Somebody bought a house on uh, on the money he made off of selling the player unknown set which is like a uh, like a huge leather jacket and uh, some kind of hood I, I don't know all that's on it but a dude seriously bought a house after somebody bought this set from him that is thousands amazing. of dollars luke, they go for hundreds luke let's let's piece. start let's start getting into uh, i know you know just buy selling and buying that kind of shit There's, it's like, an economy like the the prices of the stuff goes up and down and i i knew like i kind of knew the steam marketplace had this oh yeah i guess I steam mean, fortress 2 did it with Weapons and items and stuff, well, too. I mean, not to mention that that used to be a way to actually make money is to sit there and just yeah. release a bunch of shovelware bullshit with trading cards and then set up bots to buy the and trading, sell trading yeah, cards. Yeah, the trading yeah. card market, which they kind of axed yeah, somehow. Um, you, you, can, you have to be like a verified user. You uh, have okay. to, like, every time there's a sale, you have to confirm it through a text message or, a, or the app or through an email. I don't know. It, it's... Like, I tried to sell a trading card. I had an extra, like, I had, like, two or three extras of this trading card, and I, I put it yeah. on the Steam Marketplace to sell it because, yeah, you know, I, I don't need it. Someone else might need it to complete a badge or something. I put it up for sale, and uh, I have no idea if it ever got sold, mm -hmm. but I know I don't have the card anymore as far as I can tell, and I don't have any money in my Steam wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just... So I have no what? idea what actually happened there. Yeah. And I, I don't really care because I think I was I put it up for sale for like 15 cents. Cause oh, yeah. They, they're they're they, super cheap. They all go super cheap. Right. So it's like, whatever. I don't fucking care. Yeah. But... Like um, CSGO, I think, did it with theirs. and It's... It, the yeah. marketplace, I actually kind of like it because... If you really want a pair of fucking gloves, you can go to the marketplace and get those gloves for... Like a quarter. Yeah, like 13 cents. Well, of the, course, you do have to add money to your Steam wallet, which I think you can only do in like $5, five increments or something like that. Yeah, uh, I think you can... I thought you could buy it outright with credit. Unless, uh, that's, unless that, I'm wrong. That sounds kind of insane because the transaction fees... For it's a, so small, yeah. I mean, well, no, they they, they uh, at a certain point, they could become fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know it's like you have to. Um, spend, that's why some gas stations charge. Either way, either way, it does, it's not really. Like, could you imagine paying like two cents per thirteen cent transaction on your fucking marketplace? And then there's like a hundred of those transactions. So yeah. you know, you, you sit there, you got a hundred of those transactions, thirteen cents going. You're making eleven cents from that minus other processing fees. Yeah. So that might that, cost you fifty cents to process the fucking transaction. Right? Yeah. You, like, so you're you're negative so <laughs> unless you're unless you're doing well. And you're you're smart about like okay we'll 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 process these in batches yeah like yeah you could potentially lose money on that yeah which is why like when I go to like all right it's a bit of a petty thing but I use my credit card for everything I possibly can buy just to make the company that I that we work for pay a little bit more on the transaction fees <laughs> like what about I'm buying forty four cent piece of chocolate swipe the credit card yeah because. I, I that that's my little tiny way of sticking it to the man. <laughs> so I don't know what the tra I know the transaction fees are a certain percentage, but yeah. like I said, at a certain point, they dr they change from a percentage to a fixed or a fixed amount because, I mean, you you make a thirteen cent charge at two point five percent. That's less than you know pen. That's that's so much less than, and I'm sure it costs more than that. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, it's a, a whatever they do. Yeah, um, however they the market's to do still it. there. But like I, I still kind of like it. Well, I, the only thing I, I mentioned the wall, Steam Wallet because I'm nine. I know you can only buy trading cards with Steam Wallet. Yeah, you'd like, have like, to put five dollars on right, your so Steam if you're Wallet, ten dollars, whatever. So if you're going to use the community market, you have to do it that way. And then of course, money from your Steam Wallet doesn't cost them a damn thing to process because that's them. It's like a gift card, right? So yeah, if it's that way, okay, it's kind of, kind of the way to mitigate that cost for Steam. But but in order way to open so, the desperado yeah, crate, the important the the thing that's shitty is that the desperado crates you also have to have a key for. So normally you would you know spend your seven hundred um, points or whatever the fuck they call the in game currency. I think they just call them credits. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think that's you all they would call spend them. your seven hundred credits and expect to get a crate that you can immediately open and get another fucking pair of the same goddamn khaki pants you've gotten three times that you just sell for thirty more credits. Uh, and instead, you get a Desperado crate, and you're shit out of luck unless you give them the two dollars to open it. Yeah, because you have to buy a key to open the Desperado yep. crate, and keys cost a couple bucks. Yeah, yeah. So like that, that's a really kind of shitty kind scheme of they shitty. got going there. Yeah, like like now oh, yeah, here's a Desperado crate. Now you know if, if the Desperado crate um, had like a guaranteed rare drop and was. You'll never ever get duplicates from the from this crate. Yeah, I don't know about I, the duplicate part. Right, I I could maybe swallow the two dollar cost a little more, yeah. or whatever the cost ultimately ends up being, because it's like, oh well, I can get an exclusive item or a unique item or a yeah. rare item, and I'm guaranteed to never have a duplicate from this one crate. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know about duplicates, but I do know that it has its own set of items, right. which in general they they're more like. I guess it's inspired by the new map, which is like a South American, like, desert kind of thing. So it's all kind of biker-looking gear. Uh, um, that sounds retarded. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's it's cooler. I mean, the game, like, none of the outfits are really meant to be awesome or anything like that. That's yeah. one thing. Like, there's no camouflage. Nothing gives you in advantages in game. It's I just mean, your character looks like this when the next person shoots your head off from right, yeah. 400 meters away. With it's, a sniper it's, just, it's just about looking cool for you. It's essentially, yeah, what yeah. your character looks like in the lobby because it's the only time anybody's going to fucking pay attention to it. And so, even then, nobody's going to care because they're going to be running around the loading screen. Oh, I just punching mean your people. lobby. Or, yeah, that one, yeah. Everyone's just running around punching or running into the fences. Or finding, like, going down into tunnels and finding the weapons and just going around shooting everybody. Or, oh, that's one interesting thing they did away with. No more guns. No more guns uh, in, and in, in the, the, uh, in the uh, loading. The lobby. The, the loading, loading lobby. lobby. Yeah, oh. the loading zones. Oh, they also They now also kind of bunny hop around the map. So you load into different areas when you're just running around waiting for the plane. Oh, okay. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it here, but there was that glitch with the crossbow where you could shoot the bow into people's faces and the crossbow bolt was still there when the game started for that, 10 minutes. That's funny. That's, that's so, great. And it's fucking blocking your vision. Oh, so it just did away, which. Yeah, you know, I, I actually great. remember I actually remember reading about that. Like yeah. How, how, yeah, like people were being complete. Like douchebags, and we're we're just gra- finding the crossbow and doing that. Yeah, grabbing and shooting as many people in the eyes as they could. Yeah, we did it to each other, like people that I played with on our team, because it was funny. And then we realized, oh shit, it didn't go away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, and it makes it so much more pleasant to load into a match and not just hear like forty guns going off while the game's already kind of trying to load, so the sound yeah, effects yeah. aren't in yet. So you hear just like chugging, like yeah. It was annoying. I'm glad they made that change. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 glad I haven't been playing the game really. Yeah, <laughs> like whatever though. Um, so one thing I want to just kind of mention because I find it super interesting is that uh, there is a user on NintendoAge.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a moderator. It could be a female. I have no idea, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to assume that he's male. Um, the username of Bronte has uh, put up a bounty for the original Contra art, like the the artwork that inspired the uh, box cover. Mm-hmm. Um, he originally he, he mentioned it in a ca- casually sort of I guess in another thread about the Contra box art where he'd give forty five thousand dollars for you know for the art. Um, he has recently upped that bounty to a hundred thousand dollars for the original piece of art. Like the entire thing that inspired the box art for for Contra. Now, is that is it something 
it's not like concept art he's looking for. No, no, was no. this a specific like, like somebody did something and then they went, um, let's do that for our game. Like it wasn't technically it, related. What I understand, what I've been able to gather is he's looking for the original painting okay. or artwork, whatever it is, the original piece Crayon. of the original <laughs> piece of work that became the contra box art. Okay. Not the actual box art itself. Yeah, yeah, I guess that. I get yeah, that. he's looking for the. So it's like that for me. That like I I understand you know collecting old shit like that. Cause yeah, that, that that shit's cool. And we actually have somebody who we know that does that. Our our manager and good buddy Robbie. Mm. He collects old school retro games and stuff like that. This guy actually, saying, I know quite a few people. I've got friends up in that I used to hang out with in Michigan that right, have right. entire retro arcades. I'm still jealous of. But yeah, this this guy, um, he's got all sorts of of rare um, black cartridges and stuff like that of mm-hmm. games that were never released in like black cartridge form and stuff like that. And he, now he's like, okay, I want this I want this box art. I yeah. really really want this box art. So I will offer a hundred thousand dollars to anyone who can sell it to me. What I wonder is, like, what maybe maybe they do know exactly what it was. If it was concept art where they were just trying to figure it out, if it was like like you said, like a painting someone did that they just said, "Hey, that's awesome. Let's be, right, you right, know this yeah. is what's going to inspire the art," or if if it was something specifically like they knew this is what we're going to use, right? It's just it's crazy. Like that that could be like super super valuable depending on yeah. What. I mean, if something- it's just a drawing in a sketchbook. You know, it's still it'd still be obviously a hundred worth a hundred thousand dollars to somebody, right? Right. Um, or if it's a full fucking piece of art, it'd right. be worth a hell of a lot more. Plus, it's a one of a kind, absolute one of a kind item. Oh yeah, for sure. And, and I think that's why he upped the bounty from forty five to a hundred. Mm-hmm. And who knows? Maybe it'll go higher. You know, yeah, some, yeah. Some of these some of these people are just kind of crazy, man. Oh, especially about classic retro stuff like that. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm piece- still pissed. I threw out my N sixty four boxes and all that stuff that's why you know you, you go out in my living room right now you're looking at my tv stand there's all the all the, all the boxes from all the random tech junks i've bought like i keep them for that reason because i never know what might end up being valuable maybe somebody will want to buy the you know red and blue joy cons box mm. from me yeah 20 40 years from now yeah like for 50 60 bucks like hey Okay, you can yeah. have the box for sixty dollars. I don't. It's in great condition. Let me just clean Mint the dust off. Condition. I don't know about all that now. But <laughs> it might be a little dusty, but yeah. Speaking of Nintendo, um, they finally announced that one hundred percent September they're launching the online service. It's going to cost twenty bucks a year. Yeah. Which I don't know. I mean, beyond matchmaking in some games, I don't know what they offer right now. Which the, that and the free games they were talking about. Right. Like, the uh, the I the, don't. Um, the sub to older VC titles, I think, mm. on the Switch. Like, but they haven't brought VC to the Switch yet. So, <laughs> VC for those who don't know is a virtual console. So I don't really know yeah. what's going on there. I guess we got. I, well, no, I guess they've brought the, the VC to the Switch in the form of shitty Neo Geo games that nobody <laughs> plays and nobody's heard of. Like the only uh, non Neo Geo game that they released for older titles is the Versus Super Mario Brothers. I don't even know what that is, but I'm thinking of buying it because it's only eight dollars. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they've done that, and we've had a lot of Nintendo news actually, like a ton yeah, of oh, yeah. Nintendo news. Nintendo's been uh, they've been it's doing been, things, been doing stuff for a while. Like they're doing things, and uh, one of the things that they're doing is the Mario Kart Tour. And this wasn't even from a direct. No, no, this was just random musings. But on their Twitter, Nintendo of America announced that the next mobile app they're doing is is a Mario Kart Tour, um, which they posted it in a weird way. They worded it that it will be coming out by the end of the fiscal year in March 2019, which is like what? What does that mean? Well, what that is that's the current year we're in. Their fiscal year ones from uh, like February to March or whatever, yeah. and uh, so basically, sometime this year, no later than March thirty first of twenty nineteen, we can expect them to drop Mario Kart Tour, which is just mobile phone More Mario mobile Kart. Game. Yeah, I will give them um, their mobile games. I, I played Mario Run a little bit. Um, I didn't buy it. I, I've been thinking about buying it, but uh, they didn't make their mobile games pay pay to play or pay to win the way I almost expected them to. Yeah, right, with right. The, with the exception of, from what I've heard, the uh, uh, Animal Crossing. 
Um, is Fire kind Emblem, of, Fire Emblem Heroes is sort of sort of pay to win in that way. Like they offer like gemstones and shit to speed things up. I think speed, yeah, pay to or, play or or um, not not pay to play, but pay pay to pl- pay to get heroes. Oh, like okay. you want to summon a hero from a Fire Emblem game that's based on a certain number of stars, which their stars are how strong they are, or whatever. You do have to buy. Or get like orbs or something to summon them with. I don't know. I played it for literally a couple of days and then got bored with it. Yeah. But I mean, it is a Fire Emblem game, too. But uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. No, they they don't make them like pay to win necessarily. But well, no, I'm sorry, not pay to win. I mean, like other mobile games, like the thousands of clones of the same fucking game, where it starts off and tells you use your gems to build this faster. Now build something and go buy gems. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's not going to be done for seventy two hours. Oh, uh, the oh and then yeah, you can the, play uh, the game. The, the the wait to play games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those pay are, to wait. Yeah, pay to wait games. Yeah, those are fun. That's Ugh. what I meant. Pay to I, wait. I I, I will not play those games. Like if I find a game on my phone, I don't even play games on my phone though. Yeah. Because it's um like for me it's just it's just super weird to go. Oh, I'm gonna pull out my phone and play a game. I know. When I'm one of those people where I have multiple portable gaming systems. I got 3DS, I got Vita, I got a Switch. I don't think of my phone as a gaming platform. My phone is a multimedia platform. So yeah. I'll watch videos on it, I'll listen to music on it, and that's what I consume web content. I don't think, oh, I'm going to go play a game. Let's go play Mario, you know, Super Mario Run or Mario Kart Tour now or mm-hmm. Animal Crossing. I don't I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen more games in the mobile market. There's It's... It's so saturated with just shit. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to find anything it, it, that's yeah. legitimately a game. It's like when early, you do, they're uh, pretty cool though. It's like early 2010s. Uh, it's like, like Steam. Steam now. Well, it's like Steam over the last five years when yeah, they had it's all, just the, all the the shovelware fuck. and uh, you know Steam Greenlight, where all these games were put on Greenlight. Oh, it's even just, worse now. They were just ever clones. Look like you said, they were clones. Yeah, 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 and that's that's essentially what all of the pe- the mobile market is. Clash of Clans, fucking garbage. Um, more Nintendo news, and I mm-hmm. we we don't quite know what's going on, but it was announced to some of their shareholders that they are considering something along the lines of games as a service. Which, what do you? What is that like? You mean like Microsoft's? Um, basically, kind of, sort of, where you pay to continue playing a game in a way. Like you buy, oh. a con- they release content for it. You buy it. You know, DLCs, stuff like that, micro DLCs and micro transaction type stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, although, I mean, trying like, essentially catching up with everybody else, <laughs> right? But it being Nintendo at the same time, like I don't see them necessarily doing it the way that EA has done it or the way that Ubisoft has done it. Like in the past with games, like I don't see loot crates and stuff like that being an actual thing. Um, I I would hope not. They yeah. do. They they've for like the first time they've started DLC and actually I think they did it with the Wii U um Mario Kart had Link as DL, a DLC Yeah character. yeah I mean there were there were tracks and stuff that were yeah. DLC they did it with the 3DS where yeah. um you know you had Smash Bros Smash Bros was one of the first games I can think of that introduced DLC where it was oh you want to play on this map well, yeah give you, us six the, bucks. the character packs and things like that right so i honestly Oh, um, Fire Emblem Awakening did it with bonus maps. Yes, like none yeah, of yeah, yeah. none of the none of, none of, you were not required to pay in any way, shape, or pardon me, shape or form to play the game. But if you wanted the bonus maps, the EX Max, the Xenolog maps, you had to pay for that. Mm-hmm. So, but some of those were actually really good. So, yeah, yeah, I, I would hope that they don't get into the loot crates and a lot of the microtransactions the way other games have. Uh, in any shape, way, shape, or form. Right, yeah. If they wanted to, I don't know, I, 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 maybe they could innovate it and make it more interesting, but there's going to be, it'll be worse before it gets good. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in, in games as a service in any shape or form. Um, I could see them, like we've said before, um, the virtual console, if you wanted to charge me, you know, 20 bucks to play games online, I I don't really want that because none of your games I want to play online really anyway. Maybe right, yeah. Payday too because you don't have fucking voice chat. But I if mean, you want to charge me, probably even not. Like, I mean, like I said, like I I've said this before. Yeah, it's it it boggles my mind that Nintendo's used the the off the shelf Tegra X one parts 
And for yeah, some I reason, I don't want to go back into that. It's so fucking stupid. Like, why aren't you letting us use Bluetooth chat again? But uh, because they're stupid. <laughs> Nintendo gonna Nintendo. But if they wanted to charge me thirty bucks a month for so many or all of the released SNES games, I, I mean, thirty uh, bucks a month for me is a bit steep. That's that might be a bit steep, or if maybe it's NES and SNES games. Um, I twenty mean, bucks a month, whatever they want to charge. That would that would be interesting to me. I mean, if you're going to charge me 30 bucks a month, I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to emulate everything. Yeah. I mean, it's Depends free. on how big the catalog is. I mean, even with 700 games, it would still be free to just do... <laughs> <laughs> and we've already justified but pirating that, Nintendo games. Because there's no option to play and buy and play them. Now there would be an option to pay to play them. Yeah, but 30 bucks a month? Like, dude, I pay... Right, I just threw a fucking number out there. Go with uh, that's 15. What that's what I'm saying. 30 All bucks is right. too high. I don't know. I 30 bucks for 400 games kind of seems reasonable to me. I mean, considering that EA has EA Origin, it's like 30 bucks like a year for Origin access. Oh, so. okay. I'm sorry. I didn't say a month. Yeah, like but, that. That's that's where that's, that's where the disconnect that's was, Luke. EA only games. Yeah, but they're... <laughs> yeah, but I mean... That, and actually, that's, that includes you stuff get like trials. Titles. You get trials of the newer games. The older games are what you get access to fully. Like yeah, you get last like, year's Madden. We're, we're also looking at stuff like Titanfall that's included in that. And, and it's a year, not per month. Yeah, yeah. So it's like 30. I, I, oh, it's more than. Maybe. I think it's thirty nine ninety nine uh for a year. I mean, still, that's insane. Yeah. So, I mean. But it's not like something like NVIDIA's. Uh, streaming service was like eight bucks. It, it is the Netflix of video games. It's yeah, eight bucks a month, and you can stream Witcher three, or you can stream Borderlands two, or you can stream whatever. And they do all the processing and heavy lifting for you. And all you have to do is have a decent internet connection. Yeah, which of course is a problem for a lot of people because a lot of people don't have any. You know, but whatever. You know, it's it's that's that's something that exists. Yeah, but something like Microsoft System, and yeah. I, I don't remember what it costs a month, but. There's um, a lot of games in that service. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. What yeah, something is. like that. I'm willing to say, okay, I, I totally give you money for that, but no, don't, don't start getting into the shitty EA, fucking, yeah, Ubisoft like, Nintendo microtransaction. You were bullshit. supposed to be better than them, not join them. <laughs> You're supposed to be different. <laughs> You're supposed to be weird and goofy, not following all the trends. Yeah. You're supposed to be setting your own goddamn trends and ha- making everybody follow you. I thought the Smash Brothers characters on the 3DS and the Wii U uh, were exceedingly overpriced. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, for sure. The- I really wanted them and then went, no, I'm not spending that much fucking money. And now, to their credit, and I mean, maybe that's not the right thing to say, but the Amiibos have always been priced twelve ninety nine, right? Yeah. And if you bought the Amiibos, you got the character. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no. So, I mean... That's still way overpriced, but... Uh, uh, well, absolutely, but at least in that case, you're getting the physical statue. That yeah. You, you have a collectible item. Yeah, that's, that's a thingy. That's high quality. And I, I don't know if it came with the map or not, but I know you got the character. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, though. Uh, five... I mean, the characters weren't too expensive. They were only, a, like, a few bucks. I I remember the packs were, like... The the packs are ridiculously like, expensive. No, like thirty eight forty nine for a map pack. Like yeah. and it only has like four or five maps in it. Like n- no, yeah, no. And then another thing that that bothers me that we're on that topic. Like all right, so I bought Cloud. I bought Cloud's level, and I I bought um another character. I can't remember now. So I want to buy the character packs to get the rest of them. I can't do that. Yeah, uh. that because I already own. You've already bought them separate. Because I've already owned some of the content from that pack. So, like, instead of doing like Steam does, well, they'll give you a discount on a bundle. And Nintendo's like, no, you just can't buy this. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking stupid. Yeah. So it's like, oh, well, thanks, guys. I already have part of this content here that I paid full price for. You can't knock, like, 10% off the the rest of it, right? Like, whatever. Um, Nintendo, straight. man. That's that's straight up Nintendo. I'm just getting it, you know. Um, although one piece of information that has come out uh, that's actually really cool, and I'm actually kind of excited for. Mm-hmm. Nintendo is partnering with Illumination. Uh, oh yes, this is the this movie blows studio, my mind. The movie studio that created, you know, Despicable Me and Minions. I don't quite know what they're called, but they're coming together and they're making an animated Mario movie. <laughs> they're not as good as Pixar, but they're not as bad as whoever made Shrek. Um, uh, wasn't that uh, Dream Animation? DreamWorks? DreamWorks. DreamWorks. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. yeah. So like. 
that, that that's like really cool for me because yeah. like we're getting a proper Mario movie, mm-hmm. and it's going to be a proper Mario movie because Singuru Miyamoto is being an executive producer on it. It's like that's he's, so awesome. It's like don't worry, we're going to make sure this shit's done right, mm-hmm. and uh, it's being bankrolled by uh, Nintendo and Universal, probably more Nintendo than Universal since. Universal is going under, from what I understand. <laughs> oh man, Universal's fucking crossing their fingers on this one. So yeah, Save us. yeah. I, uh, mean, I wonder, are they also the ones doing Detective Pikachu? Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Beyond having Ryan Reynolds as the uh, voice for Detective Pikachu, which awesome. I love, by the way, I I haven't been paying much attention to Detective okay. Pikachu, so I don't know who's quite doing that. It just popped I know in that, my head where I figure I mean, they're probably going with the same studio. When it comes to Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Company part in Nintendo, like that is exclusively theirs. They are the ones that handle that. Yeah. So, um. I don't know that mainline Nintendo company has to do with it or not. Uh, but, um, yeah, like fucking Mario movie, like a legit animated Mario movie. So that's something to look forward to, especially since its creators like, oh, yeah, we're going to be there. Don't worry. Um, I mean, the cutscenes from uh, the latest Mario, like Odyssey, yeah, Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah, like make me go. I'd totally watch a fucking Mario movie. Oh, absolutely, like a Be legit great. Mario movie, not yeah. that 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 pile of shit VHS. Shh, you shit. Oh, that God. movie was awful, but I love it. I mean, it's one of those things Super where Mario it, it's Brothers. it's so bad, it's good in some ways. It's it's laughable. You can yeah. watch that movie with a fucking beer and just be like, just die and laughing. Like it, it's kind of like Big Trouble in Little China, where you have to be under the influence of something. It is. It's yeah. it's bad. I love Big Trouble in Little China, like unabashedly in every way. Right. right. Super Mario Brothers is like that, except not good. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. I, I see I like I said I could see you enjoying the movie if you were under the influence. Oh yeah, there's I'm sure drinking games that exist for it would be really fun. Being stoned watching it's great. Yeah, I, I I'd be okay with that. Fucking when they fucking get the Koopas swaying back and forth. <laughs> oh my god. And the the Koopa heads, man, were so they trippy. Were so the teeny they little were horrifying, heads. man. Oh, um, yeah, and the smiles. Okay, so those who haven't seen yet, uh, you know, they were they were porting Bayonetta one and two to the Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, both games are now available for pre order. Um, they don't drop to the sixteenth, so you still got about two weeks uh, as of the recording of this, which we, like I said, we do on Fridays, release on Tuesdays. Um, but if you pre order one, uh, you get the other, you get a discount on the other one. Which is pretty cool. This is what um, they did in the past. Bayonetta 1 is $30, and Bayonetta 2 is $50. Yeah. yeah. But if you buy both games, you only pay 60 bucks for them. Okay, yeah, that's kind of... Right, that's yeah. A, so, that's uh, a, I, I can, I'm more okay with that than $50 for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You, you, you basically get them both for 30 bucks. Yeah. If you buy either one of them. So if you buy Bayonetta 2, which I, I, I was reading up on this, a lot of people consider Bayonetta 2 to be the best game of its genre, which yeah. is just beat them up. And, uh, it's, it's definitely a really fun hack and slash game. So it's like um, you sit there, you pay 50 bucks for that when you get Bayonetta for 10 bucks. Mm. If you pay $30 for Bayonetta, you get Bayonetta 2 for 30 bucks. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um might as well get them both. It's right. it's a really good deal. Uh, I will I will let you know though. Uh, Bayonetta one is eight point five gigabytes, and Bayonetta two is twelve point four. So you're yeah. looking at just about twenty one gigabytes. You know how big that was in the Wii U, and I I know because I bought it and I could not install it. Right. Uh, or no, I I could install it. I couldn't install literally anything else. That was thirty gigs. Yeah. Or twenty eight gigs. Or something yeah. Like it, that. It's it was massive, and the fucking Wii U only had like a. Uh, I think it was a thirty. 30 it had it had thirty two. It had thirty two yeah. gigs of onboard uh, EMMC storage, which translates to like twenty eight and a half. Yeah, this game took up all of it. Yeah, it was like, oh, all right. Well, I better fucking get an external hard drive or a a memory big card. fucking memory card, big ass SD card or whatever the hell God. they used. Yeah, but yeah. A, so it was so a regular SD card. If you guys are gonna buy those. You know, no, you'll need about 21 gigabytes of storage on your Switch. Yeah. Which I think I have like 40 left mm-hmm. on my 28, my 128 gig memory card. <laughs> like I, I, I've used it up. Um, I actually ended up deleting the, the waifu battle simulator game I bought. Um, oh yeah. I, I can't remember. Azure Nights 2. Mm-hmm. Like it looks good. It looks okay. Um, I don't know. I don't remember why I bought it now. 
It's but, like, why, I, like I bought Neptuna Dimensions right. something on Steam once. Yeah. Just a hack and slashy game that looked kind of fun. That's what I was hoping for. Just a mindless hack and slash game yeah. that was an alternative to Fire Emblem. Um, and it, it's just crap. It's just not as good. It's just, it, it's, it's pacing is way slower in the battles, mm. which like, I, I can deal with a slow paced story. It was a slow paced fighting like just the fights were slow yeah don't make a slow paced action game like you yeah you don't make an action game and and make it and if i push the button to attack i should be swinging instantly as fast as possible not oh yeah okay i'll swing (laughs) it's dark don't worry (laughs) yeah but dark souls is different it's done well this yeah yeah this 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 this, uh, i hated it i I don't i don't hated it it was i don't hate it it was just like Okay, this is boring, and I, I literally played it like, 15 minutes of it, and I stopped playing it, and then one day I decided, this thing is taking up, like, 12 gigabytes. I'm deleting it. I, yeah. I want that space for something worthy, like, um, you know, Xenover- Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2 or something mm-hmm. like that. Like uh, I, uh, I fight with that on my Xbox One constantly, that I bought the terabyte, and it's just not enough space right, for right. games. I finally deleted, like... I uh, I had Battlefront still on there. I deleted that, and I deleted a bunch of shit that's just been taking up space. Um. Well, speaking of like storage spaces and yeah. storage things, it, this is not exactly no- stuff we would normally cover. But I'm a very tech oriented geek guy. Uh, the JDEC standard organization dropped the uh, standards for UFS version three. For those who don't know, UFS is a uh, stands for Universal File Storage. It's basically just a standard for storage in like cell phones and uh, Chromebooks and stuff like that. Uh, they dropped a they dropped the standards for 3.0, which basically doubles its bandwidth. Um, current standards is like 1.2 gigabits gigabytes a second, which is a huge, very very fast you know speeds. Mm-hmm. Um, 3.0 like fucking blows it out of the water. Because you go from one lane to two, and you go from uh, 1.2 gigabytes a second on that one lane to 1,450 megabytes a second on each of the two lanes now that you, you're expanding so to. each one's a... a you're so, yeah, so basically you're going from 1.2 gigabytes a second to 2.9 gigabytes a second. Okay. So you're talking about insanely fast read and write times, stupidly fast cell now, phones. Now, is that on... Um, you're we're probably not going to see it in any, any new cell phones okay. this year, but uh, it's basically just, okay, if you're going to manufacture something and call it UFS 3.0, it has to meet this standard. Oh, okay, okay. Right, it's, it's stuff like that. And it also adds temperature sensors for, like, you know, putting an onboard computer in a, in a car so that you can know, oh, you're heating up too much and stuff like that. So they can have reporting on that stuff. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, that's not normally something we'd cover since we normally yeah, talk about video games but i'm a i'm a tech geek so. yeah yeah yeah. and that that excites me because that means a couple years from now cell phones will be even faster yeah and even more energy efficient <laughs> i mean that's good that's a uh, that's good to know that they're going to get faster because i'm not going to waste money on a new one this year yeah it's it's not a matter of yeah okay our our processors are getting faster and smaller we need, still need to get the batteries up to date yeah. But don't worry, we're going to keep the storage fast. Mm, that's cool. Especially as we move increasingly into a world where uh, SD cards are slowly dying. Like, that's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> but um, um, some Xbox One stuff, the Halo Master Chief Collection. Not that too many people care, but... Yeah, uh, this is kind of like too little too late that they're finally yeah, updating yeah, yeah. But, the game some. But 343 announced on their, uh, I believe either their community board or their blog recently where uh, 343 is going to basically uh, dedicate a small but, you know, experienced team to uh, fixing a lot of the fuck-ups. It's going to be one fucker in a basement somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Poor yeah, you know, it, it might be two fuckers. You never know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're finally going to fix, like, the multiplayer <laughs> They're going to put a couple interns on it. But, uh, I mean, for, like, the seven people who play that game, I'm sure yeah. they're happy. Yeah. I don't. I've only. Uh, I won't. I don't play any of those games on competitive. Uh, I played co-op on Halo One a little bit. I mean, I'm mad that I bought the game after they did something where they. A lot of people were pissed when it came first came out. 
it didn't come with Reach, and it didn't come with uh, Halo 3 ODST. And then uh, they did something where for a short amount of time, you got those, uh, you got ODST. I don't know if they ever gave Reach. Right, right. Um, And they gave people ODST, and then they stopped doing that, but they still sell the game. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is like, you fucking pricks. Kind of a shitty thing, yeah. Yeah, and ODST is still my favorite Halo story. It's it's it, it, it uh, I could almost say it's my favorite Halo game, but I still give that honor to the first one. But uh, Halo Three ODST was just fucking phenomenal. And I said it before, I don't care about. Yeah, Halo. I don't play Halo. I I never I never played Halo. Never had yeah. to, you know whatever. I mean, if it's like they've had issues with their servers and their matchmaking and stuff, and that that's what they're fixing, that's pretty cool because there's I mean, there's dedicated people to play those old. From Halo what games. I from what I understand, like the multiplayer just doesn't work. Oh wow, <laughs> like that. That's Co-op, the level. <laughs> that's the level we're, we're speaking of when it comes to the Master Chief Collection specifically. From what I understand, multiplayer it, it, it's like a crapshoot whether or not you're going to be able to. God, use it. when I said too little, too late, I didn't know it was that specific. Like, yeah, why would people be? Ugh, fucking it, I mean, it's three years since the game released, and you're just now like, yeah, don't worry, we're gonna fix it, guys. Like, where the fuck were you two and a half years ago? Oh, and and I even mentioned it when you when you mentioned the story to me earlier that this game already had a massive, massive patch. Yeah. Added, I think it was it was either day one release or it was soon after. Not quite the 50 gig Gears of War, whatever the fuck patch. Oh, my God. But it had a massive patch at some point. I think it was like, at the time, it was like 10 gigs and everyone was freaking out or something. But it's it's stupid. Yeah. Speaking of stupid, though. Oh. Fucking EA once again. Oh, yeah. Because they can't not do stupid shit. Yep. But although this might be kind of positive, either way, they delayed Anthem. They finally announced they delayed Anthem. Everyone knew they were going to delay okay, Anthem. Okay, okay. Before we go any further, everybody raise your hand who doesn't care about Anthem. Yeah. My hand is raised. You're the only one because the don't... game right now looks beautiful. Yeah, but, I mean, for me, that, that whole simulated gamer talk just completely Oh, God, that was, that. that was bad. Oh, my, that, that is, yeah, let me, let me ring up, uh, what's her let name? Let me see if Karen's on. Yeah, hey Karen, you want to play? You want to play a game? <laughs> this is not just a fully, uh, fully, completely pre-rendered cutscene. No, no, no. This or is, pre-rendered, uh, whatever. Like gameplay. Like uh, no, that 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 for me, like I I can't get over just how it's terrible cringy. That was. I've I've yeah. watched that trailer a few times with the fucking that taken out. People put it on YouTube with like that audio <laughs> taken out. It's great. Good because that is the that that, that turns me off. Yeah. Like, the game looks really cool. I I'm I'm somewhat interested, but at the same time it's EA yeah. and fuck EA. It, yeah, fuck EA, but I'm hoping that Battlefront uh 2 stuff bit them in the ass hard enough that maybe I'm sure we'll see microtransactions and we'll see loot boxes in the game. Um hopefully they're not so like just oppressively stupid. I mean EA's entire business model is being oppressively stupid. It's true. It's our it's, it's make money for uh, our investors. Let me let me reverse that stupidly oppressive. Yeah. So it's like anything they do is going to end up being oppressively stupid on our yeah. end. It's like I I have no faith in them anymore, period. It's yeah, it's I like it's like um it's like the customers of LG and LG's boot loop problem that was recently settled. There is no longer a class action lawsuit, and there's only like a few hundred people that are going to get anything out of that. And it's like that is so shitty, mm. you know. Like they're offering like a four hundred and twenty five dollar uh check or a seven hundred dollar voucher towards a new phone. It's like. If I've had six goddamn replacement phones and they're all boot looping, I'm not hey, buying another phone. But from they you. weren't exploding. <laughs> I mean, okay, I agree with you there. My leg's not being set on fire. But at the same time, until the phone exploded, it was functional. I can't I can't see sick God, fuck that. Either way. So Anthem's been delayed. Right. They've also announced and most likely the reason it's been delayed is there's a new Battlefield game coming out in October, or at least in the fall. So um, Basically this year, yeah. even though they just released one. Oh, there's one every year. They they don't take a year off, which they really should, because it would make the fucking um, expansion passes feel more like uh, a, a, a not... 
not reasonable is not the quite not quite the right word, but it wouldn't feel like I've just wasted that money when you're going to force another game yeah, it, into my face it, right it, after the fat final map pack comes it, out. It, yeah, it's basically a matter of oh, let me buy this game. This game looks good. Let me buy this expansion pass, and then you know six months later. We announce another game. Yeah. Hey, look, you, here's the new game. Uh, so you're what, sitting what? there thinking, like, I might as well have just taken that money and burned it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, I played it for, like, three weeks, and now the next game is here, and i got to buy that. And it's expansion pass. So here here, here would be my oh, thing. God. Like, release a game, release the expansion pass, because I, 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 I hate it, but I'm accepting that they're going to be a part of gaming culture for a while. So here's mm-hmm. what you do. Release the game, and then... At, like say the beginning of a year or whatever. However often you do your yearly release cycle, release a game. But instead of releasing another game in that series around the same time next year, take that year off and just make content for the first game for the fucking expansion exactly. pack that I just paid fifty goddamn dollars. Fucking for. extended content. That's a, that's kind of the method that they were going to do. That uh, who they probably won't do it now. No, no. Of with Battlefront not. Two, right? Because that was that was like their we're sorry we fucked up. Here's what we're gonna do. All the all the maps and blah 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 is gonna be free. We'll finish the campaign. Um, all you got to do is you know to level up. You're gonna have to pay for these boxes here. But they're doing they're fucking delaying it. We got a new Battlefield coming out, which I'm sure it'll probably be World War Two. That's my guess. I mean, Maybe it isn't this be. one in World War One? So exactly. that would be the next evolution. And Call of Duty is killing it right now with Call of Duty World War Two, um, which legitimately I've had more fun playing that multiplayer than I have a multiplayer like that type of shooter in a long, long time. Right, right. Um, I might start playing Battlefield again since I've heard, like from what I've been reading about what is in the final map pack, there's some cool stuff. They're finally making a um, a game mode where you just... Are in airplanes? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, Which yeah. Because cool. like I like battle those. type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then that's that's cool shit. Man. That'll be cool because the planes right now are fucking overpowered on the maps anyway. I Goddamn mean, bombers can't be shot down. Fucking hell. Oh yeah, no that would that would that They're would frustrate. Well, you can shoot them down with uh, with other planes and with anti aircraft guns, but the other planes you can damage with. The light machine guns and other, right, right. like you can damage them with a pistol, which stops them I mean, from repairing. Okay, we're talking World War One here, though. Yeah. Like our technology was not that advanced. That, oh no, you're talking plywood and um, yeah, like, leather. Like you should, you should be able to shoot a plane down with a machine gun. Yeah, like you give me a decent, a decent light or medium duty machine gun. I mean, I'm not saying I could, but well, the, the first the possibility is there. The first dog fights were done. With pistols, right? So yeah, you can shoot a gun, shoot a plane. I, down. I mean, you give Kinda. me, you give me a thirty round, you know, a thirty round thing in that fucking machine gun. I, I can at least hit the goddamn yeah, yeah. plane and well, damage it. The important thing is that if you shoot a plane, it stops its repairs. Right. So if there is another plane in the air on your team that's f- trying to chase them down, you stop their repairs. It makes them much easier to shoot down. So it's it's like it, it's the meta of the game. It's the it's a tactic where if you're playing a character who's using um, a, a machine gun, you should watch the skies every once in a while and try and help out. Right. But right. with the bombers, apparently, it, like it, you can't you can't stop their repair. That's retarded. At least it is my experience. I was trying to the other day uh, about I mean, a week ago and couldn't. Uh, that yeah, that's just dumb. It's just it, they'll have to do some bug fixes, but it, it, the game. Yeah, like I've said before, I enjoyed the game. Right. Uh, I don't enjoy everything they've done with it. They did add a way you could earn loot crates without or uh, boxes without paying money or doing other stupid shit just by playing um, operations mode, their big main battle mode, which is cool. So I don't know. I I like the Battlefield series. Hopefully, if the next one's set in World War Two and they do direct like this is Battlefield nineteen four well, nineteen forty four. Like modern, I I won't be able to stop myself from getting excited because that's one of my all time favorite games. I mean, and and honestly, that was a good game. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, and what was it? They the, had that dun 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 dun. dun I mean, dun 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 yeah. dun dun. dun, dun. I, I would I would probably get in there with yeah. with you on that one. Like, uh, but, I'd be down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it raises the question: Did they delay Anthem because they were putting out Battlefield? Then, did they delay Anthem because it just wasn't you know up to par yet? Um, uh, par- what what I heard was polish. They wanted yeah. to put more polish on it because they've totally thrown games out 
literally to the wolves like Titanfall 2, where that game came out uh, right before or in between their own Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty World War 2. And it just, it really got chewed it, up. It fucking flopped, man. And that's such a shame because yeah. it's such a good game. And it's a great shooter. It's yeah. a great online shooter. And then EA bought them. So, you know, you can make your call there. Why would EA do that and then buy that studio? But speaking of them, they're making a Star Wars game. Um, hopefully EA is not doing its bullshit with, there's, okay. you know, no one okay. wants a single player campaign. Okay. I, I don't care. Yeah, I just don't fucking care, man. With between the Battlefront two things and between the Last Jedi sucking complete total donkey ass, I don't care about Star Wars anymore. Mm. I, I'm just writing off the Last Jedi because I, Star Wars is still awesome. So I just <sighs> I just ignore the things I don't like about it, and I'm still oh, so we're gonna cherry I still pick love things? Star Wars. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm cherry picking the fucking. But, uh, no, I'm like, not gonna. I, I ignore the prequels too, motherfucker, and I still love Star Wars. I just well, they but the prequels weren't as as, as monstrous. Like, all right, the prequels didn't come out and just cancel everything before it. You know, <laughs> like that's the thing. No, midi chlorians existed. They did just as bad. No, I can accept midi chlorians no. over. Ugh. This movie saying, oh, yeah, by the way, everything that happened before this movie just <laughs> didn't matter. Everything was for nothing. And by th- I'm comp- we're going to completely undo this thing. It's like I, I, I think J.J. Okay, okay. Abrams is going to come in and fuck all that up. But either way, I'm still I like that studio response. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, they, they've Maybe made some pretty good stuff. It, it better have a fucking well put together single player campaign. That's it, my big thing about it. This is fucking Star, War, Star Wars. Star Wars needs that. The story is important. It, it really, really is. It needs to be good. It needs to be coherent. And it yeah. needs to take longer than five fucking hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fucking God damn it. Fuck EA. Seriously, fuck EA. Um, all right. So I, I don't know what else you have to talk about. Um, if If you're done, if your topics are covered. Uh, nah, we, we had talked about earlier in the week. Microsoft's right. Like, they thought that they they uh, it came out. They didn't. There's no talks. They contemplated purchasing EA uh, or Steam. Well, Valve they or went, Valve. They wanted yeah. Valve. Valve sorry. Like, yeah, they they were the, the, there was a Which, temporary thing where Xbox, the Xbox arm of Microsoft was thinking, hey, we should purchase EA or hey, let's purchase Valve, and it's like, I could see. Here's my thing: is I don't think the Microsoft arm has like you mean that, the Xbox arm the Xbox arm because they've hemorrhaged money with the Xbox one yeah. in a fantastic fashion by making every wrong decision possible oh it's amazing um, there's got to be like the, a, this has flip, to be a world record yes the flip between the Xbox 360 making so many right decisions to the Xbox one just making all the wrong ones is a fucking my it's so bad it's beautiful yeah, yeah, like there, there's definitely, there's definitely like a degree of man, that's amazing. They, you still haven't there's got a, a, dude, a con, like a good, um, fucking uh, menu system. There is, there is definitely a wow factor. Yeah, like it's, there, like, like this is one of those. I'm not situations, even angry. I'm impressed. Yeah, like this is one of those situations where you can look at that and go, yes, that is amazing what they've done, because it's incredible how it's they so fucked it up. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that that is one of those things where you can definitely where you can use the word awesome and mean it literally not in the awesome it's good but awesome in that it's all inspiring <laughs> like you can, you can use awesome in oh, its original man. definition not the new societal I still, definition i cannot get over e3 when they announced fucking oh no you're not going to be able to get you know let somebody borrow your physical disc and, and then, then fucking sony, sony came in yes. how would you let somebody play your game here you go <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the, those two those two Japanese executives standing up on there, and him just saying, "Here's how it'll work," and he hands his copy to his, to the other guy with just both hands, like immediately, just oh shit, mic drop, burn, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, cut to uh, cut to Kelso just sitting there, burn, yeah, yeah. So them, they have no IPs that anyone gives. Like you've got Gears of War, and you still technically got Halo. No one gives a shit. Like there, you have a hardcore multiplayer fa- uh, uh, fan base that's probably still there for Halo, right? right. Um, maybe yeah. some with Gears of War, but for a, a, a gen, for the most part, it, personal opinion here, um, 
a lot of people are just fucking fed up with them. I they mean, canceled a bunch of first party actual like possibly interesting titles for this year. Any of their exclusives aren't yeah. actual exclusives. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everything's on uh, on PC. On PC, oh, which oh. I I kind of like, but at the same time, at the same time. Oh yeah, but at the like. Anybody who bought an Xbox One X, anybody who's invested in that, is kind of getting slapped in the face because they were promised, "Oh, you buy this, this this system, this is how you play these games." Yeah. And now, oh well, no, because anyone who also has anyone like like myself who has a gaming PC, they can play the game too. And it's like, then why the hell did I buy the Xbox One X? You know, like why my why would and there's a lot of crossover there too, where a lot of people who or a micro, or Xbox fans. Some of them have gaming PCs, too. Well, the fact that you can and switch like, back and forth is kind of cool, though. Well, I get that. No, I'm on board with that. Like, the yeah. universal, uh, like, thing Play like anywhere. That. Yeah, like, I love I love that idea, but at the same time, it's like, oh, well, this is an, an Xbox exclusive. No, it's not. It's a I Microsoft it, exclusive. Yeah. It's, and Microsoft has more than just the Xbox platform. So there's no, like, if you already have a halfway decent PC, there's no reason for you to invest in an Xbox. Yeah, which is bad for those sales, but again, I, I see that almost it's it's changing the way they look at consoles, which is cool. Uh, I don't know. It maybe it's not a great idea for them financially in the long run, but it's interesting. It's not like you can go and get these games on Steam, uh, right? I mean, instead you have to get them on the absolutely <laughs> broken Windows Store. Exactly. So I don't think they're hurting themselves quite yet in which, that regard. Which, I, I mean, which, which I kind of mentioned, like. I think that's why they were considering Valve, which yeah. I don't think they could buy Valve. Like I, I don't, I don't think. No, they could. I don't think they could. I definitely, the Microsoft arm or the um, yeah, they, the they, Xbox they, arm. They no, they, they don't have the money. Yeah, to they do definitely they couldn't buy EA. Yeah, I, I think that Valve is also too big of a company for them to buy. And Valve makes so much goddamn money. Now on the on the on the other side though, like like I could. The idea of t- more tightly integrating Steam into Windows, kind of, I kind of like the idea, provided they don't leave Linux and Mac users out in the cold. Mm. Um, like the more, because like the way it's integrated is already really nice, but now if it's a part of the operating system, you can lower its overhead even more. Yeah, not that the overhead is that much to begin with, but I've had issues with the Steam overlay crashing games and crashing Windows, so mm-hmm. it's like. If you could take Steam, take that client, integrate it into Windows seamlessly, and do it well, while, like like I said, once again, not leaving our Linux and Mac brothers out, because I totally want those guys to continue playing their games on Mac and Linux that that are supported there. It's like, yeah, that could be a really, really cool little thing, you know? Yeah. Um, The thing is, like, we, we had talked a little bit about, like, Microsoft's problem, one of their major problems right now is no... No exclusives. Yeah. No interesting exclusives. No new IPs. It seems really like they've just decided to sit back and just see what happens. Where uh, I could see them... I don't know why they would buy EA or Valve. Now, I realize later on, buying EA fucks over everyone else because they could charge a whole lot for them to get Nadden and right, all those right, games right. that do sell insane every year. Um, buying Valve... You get that integration of Steam. Uh, hey, and we could you know we what? could get Half Life. You know what? You get Half Life Three. Buying Valve means you get Steamworks. Yeah, and Steamworks. I mean, love it or hate it, it is the it is one of the biggest multiplayer like platforms on the planet. Yeah, so many games use it, and it's it's so well built for the most part. You know, you got Borderlands, you've got Left for Dead, you've got any multiplayer game on Steam takes advantage. Oh, for the most part, I don't think stuff like Psyonix, uh, Rocket League does. But there's so many games on Steam that use Steamworks. It's such a well-established, well-built, um, you know, multiplayer platform type thing that you don't have to pay a monthly fee for. No, because they... which is also terrifying if they could buy that. Yeah, like that... because I I could see Microsoft finding a way to fuck it all up. That's a thought that I literally just had. Yeah. Like. Buying buying Valve, they'd get Steam. They could integrate Steam more tightly into Windows. But then it's like, oh fuck! That means they'd get Steamworks. They'd get you know the community. They'd get the fucking marketplace. It's like, 
And there's so many places that there that Microsoft could destroy Steam. It's where a, any a, a greedier company, like most companies, don't see. Let's make some money. They see. Let's make all of the money. Right. Valve is a company that's makes lots and lots and lots of money, and they do some shady shit. And they've done some shady shit in the past. Oh yeah, for but sure. they've but... gone. They could do. They could do a hell of a lot more, which is, I think, why they're like a poster child of it. You know, everyone loves Valve because they're the the exploitation possibilities. Oh yeah, are literally endless with the system they have, and it's big enough now where you'd be hard pressed to go somewhere else. Oh yeah, I mean, like they they literally have no competitor. And yeah, when it comes to the PC space, there is no competitor to Steam. There, there's Steam. And then there's a bunch of smaller things. You got like, you know. Humble Bundle. Humble, and... which they still use Steam. So it doesn't oh, even matter. They, I know they use Steam codes. I didn't know they use Steam outright. Well, like, yeah. Like, I like mean, you, they, they're their own retail. You can buy games from them and then it loads up. The, you well, you, get them you, through You Steam. basically just buy a Steam key. So Steam oh, still okay. gets the money from that. So it's like, oh, okay. The, the closest thing that I can CD think Project of. Project Red's thing. Yeah, GOG. Yeah. GOG is the, the next closest thing. And. They're, Which we they're gotta, so they're so tiny compared yeah. to Steam. You got Steam that holds like seventy eight percent of the marketplace, or some. I don't know. I pulled that number out of my ass, but I know it's extremely high. Yeah. The well, I guess the only technically competitors, um, Ubisoft's UPlay and uh, Origin, yeah, yeah, or and even then marketplace share and, and stuff like that, so and game reach. It's it's completely completely. It's 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 like. It's literally comparing like a, a kitten to a lion. Like it's it's like they're 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 the same. Like they're similar breeds. They're related, but the size is so massively different. Yeah. Uh, Did I mention how stupid the system? If you buy, if you and then maybe they've changed it by now. If you go into GameStop and you pre-order the digital version of a PC game. Yeah. So you purchase the digital version. You go and um, you get your code and you take it home. Now I bought I, I can't remember what game it was that I bought this with. It was I think it was Titanfall two. Um, so or it was I don't remember a game I bought re, like a couple of years ago. So you go on. You have to download GameStop's program. Their Steam clone. They're like tight like online retailer. You download that. You then. Uh, put in your code, and then you get to take another code over to Origin that has the fucking game. Download Origin, and then download the game you've been you've purchased. I mean, okay, that is fucking retarded. <laughs> Fuck GameStop. I'm glad they're fucking having to change from a game retailer to fucking po- uh, pop like culture, basically, pop culture. Yeah garbage you know though i'll I'll fully take advantage of of them selling the blue yeti satin red mic that i want yeah Uh, i don't care about the game they're bundling with it i don't want it but i do want that that microphone all right guys we're gonna go ahead and have to (laughs) we're running a little long here so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wind it down here i had i still had a couple of weird news stories i wanted to cover but i we can do that in the next pod yeah we talk about them later um one of them though was about a hair dryer that shot fire, so that was pretty. So, see, that sounds like something someone would do on purpose. But uh, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wind it down there, like guys. Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, it's much cheaper than Elon Musk's. But uh, I want one. I would drop five hundred dollars right now because it looks like a gun straight out of Mass Effect Two. It's it's it, they're not selling it anymore. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, he was only selling like like fifty thousand of them or something. I know. I couldn't out. find. I couldn't. No one had a link to where you had to go and pre-order it. All right. Well, that'll that'll be it for us before Luke starts talking about flamethrowers and stuff. I'm gonna make one now. All right. <laughs> so for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. And as always, fuck yeah. Yep. Yeah, right up there, fucking tight asshole. <laughs>